Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag's Postgres DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to migrate data from MySQL database 8 to Postgres database 17 in Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So we have a tutorial link. We have a compressive step by step guide to installing MySQL and PostgreSQL 17 on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, creating test databases and migrating data from MySQL to PostgreSQL. So, we need a one server. So, I'm running the server Ubuntu 24.04 LTS in VMware Workstation. Let me access this server. SSH DPT So this is my server I'm just logged in with the root let me just go through side by side so one number is there install mysql on ubuntu 24.0 for lts so for the testing purpose we need to install now i'm just update the system packages Step 2 install MySQL server. So copy this command and you can type also this command apt install MySQL dash server. So MySQL installation completed. Now I'm going to secure MySQL installation. So set a validate password component. Yes. Password strength. Password length and strong password. Low. <laughs> Remove anonymous users. Yes. Disallow remote login. Yes. And remove test databases. Yes and reload the privileges yes so all is done now follow the perform promotes the security options such as the removing anonymous user disabling remote logins etc we already did that now next start and enable the mysql so start mysql system ctl then enable the mysql for the start booting option so done log into mysql just logged in without password just enter it will log in change the root password once you logged in the mysql server you you can change the root password using the command below command so alter user root at the rate local host i'm just giving for the local host and identified by mysql native password by admin at the rate 123 so this is my password done plus privileges now going to exit and start to running with the restarting the mysql service oh. done
if you are getting any password policy error then you can set the global password policy low password length is 4 like that and you can check the variables of the password next two two number so create a test database in mysql let me log in so we set the password let me enter so access denied for the user root using password no so i need the i need to enter the password so admin at the rate one two three admin one two three okay so my password is admin one two three now i am going to create a db so create database test underscore db use test db so i am now database is changed now i am going to create one table so this is my primary cable uh, table so table is created now so so tables so table so you can able to see there you just table is there now let me check any data is there or not select a stick from users we have an empty set now I'm going to insert one data uh, data into the database. So two rows are there. So you just name an email. I'm Chirag Mahato and uh, this is my user uh, email address. One more. I'm just going to insert it. So let me check with the same command. So I am able to see whether two database uh, two rows are inserted. So we did that. Configure the MySQL D config. So authentication plugin i am going to configure that so open this okay sorry not here open this go to the end insert that add that one and now i am going to restart the mysql So MySQL restart is done. Now third number that you install Postgres 17 on Ubuntu 24.0 for LTS. So update the packages. So FPT update. Now I'm going to install curl and say certificate already installed. Install one now i am going to add the sc add to the postgres repository now update the packages okay, done now i am going to install the postgres sql So you can able to see here the Postgres 17 is installing there.
okay installation is done now i'm going to start and enable the postgres sql data database then create a test database in the postgres sql so i've logged in with the postgres and now change the password for the postgres user create a database test db going to exit from there now migrating data from mysql to postgres sql to migrate the data from postgres uh, mysql to postgres sql you can use the pg loader tool which simplifies the migration process so i am going to install the pg loader and now installing the dependencies there will, will be the pg loader folder will be there okay. if this is the pg loader folder so we'll go inside the pg loader so cd change directory go to the pg loader mac pg loader Okay, make pg loader is completed now let me get with the help command so these are the helps so the command is a form, uh, format for the pg loader as follows so this is the pg loader 
here mysql i am giving the username password let me create bigger this one so pg loader mysql root is the my user admin at the admin 123 is the password and local host and database name is test db and similar in the postgres sql postgres is the user admin 123 i have set the password and local host and test db we don't have any data in test db just now we created the postgres database test db so with that i'm just running this command so successful total time to import there is a two rows time is 0 0.199 second and bytes is the 0 0.1 byte now let me log in Postgres Postgres P SQL so here class health we have a test DB okay so control C I'm run I'm just connecting with the test DB now as dt where we users tables is uh, created there automatically and select from users so you can able to see there two rows whatever in the my mysql database is reflecting postgres sql database so in this video we have learned how to migrate uh, MySQL database to Postgres database and Postgres database server is 17 in Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and step by step process is given there so summary MySQL installation install and configure the uh, test database Postgres installation set up the Postgres 17 created create a test database and verify table structure then migrating uh, with the PG loader move the data from mysql to postgres ensuring data integrity let me know if you have a further uh, customization or have any questions for any doubts and query please write on the youtube video comment section follow the process on in the video please subscribe and like for the more videos hope this will help thank you for watching